Noth Clever High friends, Darth Momo here to talk about The Mandalorian, Chapter 13, Episode 5 of Season 2, The Jedi, even though she's no Jedi. Yes, Ahsoka Tano has finally come to live action. I was expecting it to be some sort of cameo, but if that's what was previously reported by these rumored people. And nope, she's in the full-on episode, which was welcome. Surprised to be sure, but a welcome one. Um, Ahsoka, Ahsoka did not sound like Ahsoka, and it took her a little bit of getting used to. I was hoping that they would just dub Ashley Eckstein's voice over Rosario Dawson. They didn't. Oh well, gonna have to deal with it. Except now we have, this is what the live action Ahsoka looks like. But then you go into Rise of Skywalker and she sounds completely different. Oh well. I don't know, it's just, I'm a little bummed by that because, um, I mean, Katie Sackhoff, different story, they actually had Katie Sackhoff play Bo-Katan, uh, Sagara wasn't too important of a character, so it wasn't that different, um, and then, but, like, Darth Maul, he, uh, was voiced by Sam Witwer in the Clone Wars and Rebels, and they had Sam Witwer do the voice in Solo, I was kind of hoping they'd go down that road with... Ahsoka being cast by Rosario Dawson, but now it makes me wonder, is Rosario Dawson going to take up the role of a voice at, of the animated voice of Ahsoka Tano? Because look what happened with Saw Gerrera. He was voiced by that other guy in Clone Wars. Now Forrest Whitaker is the role of Saw Gerrera. So who voices him in Fallen Order and in Rebels? Uh, Forrest Whitaker. So is Ashley Eckstein out now? I doubt it, but it's possible. We uh, we shall see going forward. Uh, I was kind of bummed that Sabine wasn't with her. Um, especially because it seems like she's still hunting for Ezra because she's looking for Grand Admiral Thrawn. But it's left unclear and could go either way. Uh, and yeah, there's there's nothing about Sabine or about Ezra. The closest we get is she refuses to train Grogu? That's going to take some getting used to. <laughs> um, but she refuses the train Baby Yoda because of she senses a similar fear and attachment that Anakin had. And she knows what happened to Anakin. So, but she tells him to go to some old Jedi temple and let him reach out with the Force. And it's possible that some Jedi may come out and reach to him. Well, I don't really know how this is going to go now. I mean, he's going to have to refuse because... Or Baby Yoda is going to have to refuse to uh, want to be trained because, you know, I doubt they're going to bring Mark Hamill. And Mark Hamill's done with Star Wars. But also because Luke Skywalker started up a Jedi Academy where either all the students went to the dark side or were killed by Ben Solo. And I don't see them doing either of those things to Baby Yoda. If he was in the dark side, we would have seen something about that in the sequels, and I don't think they'd kill him off, especially at this point in time, and in such a gruesome way. And I don't think they repeat the whole, oh, he was on the Jedi Temple, but someone hit him. Um, I don't see Luke Skywalker coming into it. The only other Jedi we know of is Ezra Bridger, and it's unclear where he's at. Um... I could be up for Ezra training Baby Yoda, but then it comes down to the problem of, well, is Ezra out? And, or is he still MIA, you know? Or is he out and about, chilling? And if he's back, well then, great. We've just had that whole story spoil of them finding Ezra. But I, I just, I don't know how this is going to go. He's going to have to refuse to be trained, I would guess, and want to stay with Mando. Plus, that's the whole crux of the story is Mando and Baby Yoda, and if you take out Baby Yoda, you know, the show's not as, I don't know, it loses its core. It's like, what if there is Rebels, but without Ezra, um, or Sabine, you know, or, uh, like, what if there was Clone Wars without Ahsoka? Like, what if Ahsoka was just gone? Permanent. Like, what if in, like, season three, they just, she left the show and that was it, and she never came back? It wouldn't be the same. So, those are my thoughts, but overall, it was a fun episode. Uh, I like the little cat uh, that popped up. 
still cool to see Ahsoka. And, uh, Mando's on his, uh, next journey now. I don't know, I just, I'm not really, like, in the constant formula of Mando's, like, every episode. It's, okay, well, now we're going to this. And then that's how every episode goes, but, you know, we'll, uh, we'll very well see. I, uh, bet you uh, it won't be long before we see Moff Gideon again. But, I mean, this is pretty much the end of the rumors. Ahsoka's popped up, Cobb Vance popped up, Boba's popped up. Bo-Katan's popped up, so I don't really know what else to expect from here. Uh, thank you guys for joining in. Darth Momo out. May the Force be with you. Always. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. If you liked the video, comment down below and hit that like button. Oh, and check out some of my other videos. I'm sure you'll find them in the light.